Do you want to know the secret to solving complex calculus problems? Stick around and I'll show you how to apply one of the differentiation rules so that you can simplify and solve these problems like a pro. What we're going to do is just calculus, but it's going to base, be based on the differentiation rules. So I've downloaded some question papers and it's from November of last year, which is November 2022, up until... November 2019. So we're just going to do those questions. Um, it's about 11 questions. And the best thing for you to do is to take out your pen, okay, and also a notebook. November 2022, okay. So November 2022, if, if of x is equal to 2x to the power of 5, minus 3x to the power of 4 plus 8x okay what is the derivative of if with respect to x okay so that's the question here so i'm just going to give you like a five second each start so this one is about three marks and the derivative and for those who don't know, if you go to my profile, you'll notice there's probably about five videos where I, where I explain the, the different differentiation rules. And there's mainly just one that you're duplicating every time um, in different ways. So this one will just be where we're going to derive this one, this one, this one. Okay. But now how do we derive this? We, the rule of differentiation, the general rule say we take the five, we multiply by the two. Then we write it down, then it's 10, we keep this base as is, then it's x, and we subtract 1 from that. So that whole derivative of this first term here is going to be 10x to the power of 4. But let's write it down mathematically, okay? So it's going to be 4 derivative of f. With respect to x, it's important that you write that uh, symbol down there. So it's going to be 5 multiplied by 2, which is going to be 10. Keep the x as it is, and then we subtract one from that so that's going to become four here's a negative symbol and um, so let's write it down so it's going to be four multiplied by three which is going to be 12 and we keep that as it is so it's x subtract one from that so it's three uh, here's an invisible one so we multiply that invisible one with a plus eight which is just going to become plus eight we keep the base as it is right so so I'm going to skip a few steps, but so we keep the base as it is, and then there's an invisible one. So it's going to be 1 minus 1, which is to x to the power of 0. And what do you know about x to the power of 0 according to your laws of exponents, which is, that is equal to 1. So 8 multiplied by 1, it's just going to be 8. And this here is going to be your final answer. If you don't understand from this point to that point, you can drop a comment, but it's basically just that grade 8, 9, 10 laws exponents that you're applying there okay so let's move on to the next question it's also from this question November 2022 exam paper right by the way for those who don't know so it's from exam paper no I'm lying I'm lying this one is from November 2022 question 7.2 okay so let me just write that it's from question 7.2 the one that we did now if you have any questions let me know because what i'm going to do is i'm going to raise it it won't be here anymore okay okay so let's move on to the next question uh, for those who have just joined us make sure that you double tap the screen take out your pen and paper and share this live okay in this way more grade 12 students will see this Let's move on to the next one. I think I'm going to use red so that I can say from which question paper I got this question from. So it's from the May, June, also the year 2022. And it's from question 8. Okay, so this is from question 8. This one. Okay, so let's look at this one. We also need to determine the derivative. This is question 
and they ask us to determine the derivative with respect to x so they ask that question if f of x is given as 4x cubed minus 5x squared so they ask what is the derivative of this function here with respect to x and this one is worth um, 2 marks if you have the answer, you're more than welcome to comment your answer. You're also more than welcome just to give me a thumbs up to tell me, okay, um, I'm on track with you. Let's make it more interactive in this way, you understand. But obviously, you need to write something down as well. Okay. Okay, so this one is two marks, like I said. And I'm going to try and write the answer in blue, see how long it holds up with us. So we derive this general rule. So just multiply this with this here. So it's going to be 12. We keep this as it is. We subtract 1 from that. 3 minus 1 is 2. And then this 2 multiply by the negative 5. We're going to get negative 10. And then we keep this as it is. And then we subtract 1 from that. So it's just going to be 1. You don't have to write the 1, the invisible 1. So this will be your final answer. Somebody say, uh, in P we say 12x squared minus 10x. Yes, congratulations. If you got that answer. Okay, this is from this question paper, um, May, June, the year 2022. It's question 8, but this is question 8.2.1. So we're just doing 11 questions from the year 20. No, <laughs> from 2022 up until 2019. Okay, so from 2019 November up until November 2022. So we include June and May paper. You know what's weird thing? I've just noticed that I went to the Basic Education Department website and downloaded these questions, but I haven't noticed any Feb and March. Maybe that's a good thing. Uh, so let's look at the next question. It's also from this question paper here. Uh, let's delete this here okay and remember with these differentiation questions there's different formats um, that you need to be familiar with so b before we just use the prime symbol here okay everybody's familiar with this one but with the next one it's just gonna it's gonna look as follow okay so they say they don't say derive this they just say question and this by the way is question um, 8.2.2 so this is question 8.2.2 and they ask us to derive this with respect to x of minus 6 the cube root of x and everything is over x to the power of 4 plus 2 everything over x to the power of 4 okay so we should derive everything inside the block brackets so this one is worth four marks so there's a little bit of work that you need to do um, so I'm going to give you like a five or ten minute head start um, If you just join us, make sure that you double tap the screen in this way. More grade 12 students will see that we're busy with a differentiation uh, section in calculus, uh, which count a lot of marks. But this is going to be the only live session that we're going to do. In the future, we're going to focus on something else, depending on what the community wants. Okay, so this one is worth four marks. Before you just jump into, you don't have enough knowledge in the, from the CAP system to just tackle this problem. So the first thing that I suggest you do is to simplify each fraction here, okay, inside the block bracket. So we're not deriving, so we're not just going to leave this out and start uh, f uh, simplifying the, this in, inside the block brackets. Okay, so we still need to write this. So let's write that symbol down there. So we did, we're not deriving anything yet. 
but what I'm going to do is I'm going to simplify this whole bracket but I'm going to do it step by step so that first the numerator here is just going to become minus 6 x to the power of 1 over 3 everything over x to the power of 4 here's my plus symbol and I'm going to leave this as it is just for now but I'm not done simplifying it and remember everything is still under the block brackets and then hopefully I'm going to have enough space okay so let's see equal to equal to okay so I'm not done yet so what I'm going to do is now I'm going to start uh, simplifying everything inside the brackets I'm going to use my laws of exponents so we st we're not deriving we're still writing that down so this year is going to become negative 6 x to the power of negative 11 over 4 oh not over 4 excuse me negative 11 over 3 and this year is going to become plus 2 multiplied by x to the power of negative 4 close the brackets so now everything looks similar to some of the questions that we've done previously and now it's much more easier to derive it now I can drop this so this multiply by that is going to become negative it's going to be positive 22 x to the power of negative 14 over 3 this multiply by this is going to be negative 8 and we subtract 1 from that so it's going to be negative 5 and this year will be your final answer they're not saying that you should write it as a positive exponent if you want to you're more than welcome to go further than that it's going to be a little bit extra steps but you won't get marks for that i promise you Okay, so hopefully, if you've got this answer, you can just give me a thumbs up, or if you understand everything here, if you want me to repeat a step, let me know if it's this step, or this step, uh, first step, second step, or the third step, or you can just give me a thumbs up, to, to double tap the screen to tell me, okay, let's move on to the next one. Somebody say, okay, let me just read some of the comments. Um, Letabo ask, should we start differentiate yes well with in with this question first just simplify this to make it more easy for you as you can see I simplified inside the block brackets just rewrote everything and then I drop this that means I'm going to start differentiating um, let's see this how did you get minus 14 over 3 yeah okay so the rules say multiply this with this then we get 22 <coughs> and then we subtract 1 from this this year so it's going to be negative 11 over 3 minus 1 so you can type that in your calculator if you maybe struggle with um, adding and subtracting fractions but sort it out because you don't know how to add subtract fractions it's going to be a little bit challenging any more okay that's a questions by Camogelo Oh, it's clear it's enough okay wait no I skip the second step no somebody asked for 14 over 3 oh that's Kamachelo asked how did I get 11 over 3 yes it's the same reason the, this is from the laws of exponent that say if the bases are the same then you subtract this one from that one so it's 1 over 3 minus 4 type that in your calculator you will get negative 11 over 3 hopefully that is clear but basically i'm applying your laws of exponents here okay to get to this point okay so let's move on to the next one that is from question may june 2022 8.2.2 and now we're going to move on to <coughs> And uh, I'm going to repeat it a few times if you've just joined us. Uh, we're doing calculus from the P question paper 2019 up until 2022. And um, 
make sure that you double tap the screen in this way more grade 12 students will see this uh, that we're doing calculus it will also obviously get it on help to get it on the for you page so we're looking at november 2021 question 9 and it's going to be question 9.2.1 okay so this is from that question paper and uh, here's another differentiation question uh, they want us to find dy dx if y is equal to 4 x to the power of 5 minus 6 x to the power of 4 plus 3 x plus 3 x this one is worth uh, 3 marks so this one is quite straightforward but I'm going to give you that a uh, few seconds to kick off with this questions um, okay let table say it's clear okay okay for those who have just joined us make sure to double tap the screen will help a lot give us a thumbs up um, let me zoom in a little bit I think I can do that okay there we go okay so here we are asked to derive this so here's another format as you've noticed previously in the previous questions we did this okay and we also did this the same thing and this is another way to tell us this is another notation to tell us okay we should derive the function y in terms of x so everywhere you see x this should be a change in that okay so here it's not necessary now to use your uh, you can see it's straightforward we're not going to use our laws of exponents we're just going to use the general term of differentiation that say okay if you want to derive this all that you have to do is take the 5 multiply it by the positive 4 that's going to give you 20 keep the base as it is subtract 1 from that so it's going to become 4 and take the 4 multiply by the negative 6 so we're going to get negative 24 we keep the base as it is and then we subtract 1 from that so it's going to become 3 and then there's an invisible 1 multiplied by the plus positive 3 we're just going to get positive 3 and uh, the rule further on say subtract 1 from this one here which is going to be x to the power of 0 what do you know about x to the power of 0 is equal to 1 so it's going to be 3 multiplied by 1 is 3 and this here is your final answer if you got that answer double tap the screen or just give me a thumbs up um, and then we can move on okay let's see let's see let us say he or she got it okay cool cool and give me a thumbs up you don't have to say you got it you can double tap the screen and then I move on to the next question okay so this is from question 9 excuse me from this paper question 9 okay and if you if there's a step that you don't understand uh, just please let me know it's to which term or whatever the case may be can you explain matrices uh, <laughs> maybe you should drop a comment in one of my videos and let's see how many people ask me to do that and then I can explain it I would love to but at the moment the only questions I get is from the cap system okay so that's a question from Pete Pete Osley okay so the next one is also from this year November 2021 question 9 and we are looking now at um, question 9.2.2 okay and they ask us to derive with respect to x of negative cube root of x over 2 plus 1 over 3x and everything is raised to the power of 2 so everything is inside a bracket so we should derive this whole thing here I'm gonna give you like 10-15 seconds head start and if you have any questions you're more than welcome to uh, ask and if you've just joined us obviously um, double tap the screen in this way more grade 12 students will see this um, also, 
just give me a thumbs up or whatever the case may be it will also help to get on on the for you page so this one is four marks so that means there's going to be quite a few steps that we'll have to add here it's similar to the one we done previously like two questions ago we before we jump into deriving this we will first have to simplify this inside the brackets okay to make it separate terms and to make it a little bit clear you don't have enough um, info to just jump straight into or it's not info knowledge to jump straight into deriving this okay so before we derive this I'm going to keep this as it is okay the D subscript X because we're not deriving yet I'm just going to simplify this um, a little bit in other words it, this year is going to become negative a half X to the power of 1 over 3 there's a positive symbol so it's going to become plus again and everything here is going to become 1 over 9 multiplied by x to the power of negative 2 so everything inside the brackets should still be diff we should still need we still need to differentiate that if you understand that step let me know but um, I'm just simplifying it using my laws of exponents now we can start deriving okay so we can leave this uh, symbol out so we're just saying this multiplied by this and we're going to get 1 minus 1 over 6 the rule further on say keep that as it is and then you just subtract 1 from that so that's going to become negative 2 over 3 and then further on how do we derive this we say this negative 2 multiplied the, by the positive 1 over 9 so it's going to be negative 2 over 9 we keep this as it is so it's x and the rule further on say subtract 1 from that so this is going to become negative 3 and this here is your final answer so let that sink in for a little bit um, if there's a step that you don't understand uh, you can also ask I will check out the comments because I can read it today let me quickly see what's happening uh, okay Thank you for somebody Lungile say please explain step one. Are you talking about this step Lungile? Excuse me. What about this step don't you, what don't you understand yet? Let's see. we get half how did we get half I'm I assume you're talking about this half here okay so from this point to that point it is the laws of exponents okay and also my knowledge of fractions obviously so what do let me see if I can write here something let's see okay let's see can you write the final answer with x bar Kelly, okay, let me first answer that question of how did I get from this point to that point. So, I'm going to do it in red, hopefully. Hopefully, you'll be able to see what I'm doing here. Okay, so I'm going to do it here. So, from this point, let me just simplify that, because that's what you're supposed to do there as well. So, negative a cube root of x over 2 you can also rewrite this as negative a half okay multiplied by cube root of x and then you can also rewrite this as you keep that as it is so it's negative a half multiply I'm not going to make the dot again but you need to convert this into uh, exponential form so there's an invisible one so you keep the x as it is and then the rule of converting from your search from form to exponential form is you say this invisible one over that 
so it's going to be 1 over 3 okay hopefully that is clear and then the other question is can you write okay maybe that's your question can you write I'm not sure if you're asking me to rewrite it but yes you can but let's say for instance you want to rewrite it you're not going to get actually marks for it. this is a question from Kelly uh, so this year is just going to become the negative is still going to be the and your numerator is going to be 6 the, the nu numerator is going to be 1 the denominator is still 6 and obviously you want to write this as the denominator so this positive is going to change into a neg excuse me this negative is going to change into a positive so we're only going to get 2 over 3 this, uh, likewise for this one there is a negative and the 2 is still my numerator and the 9 is still my denominator this here is going to become now my denominator is going to change into positive you will still get marks but it won't be extra marks because this is where it stops this is where you get your full marks this is where you get your full marks it's going to be 1 2 3 4 okay not going to get an extra mark for doing that because in the beginning of the question they don't ask you to write it as a positive to write your answer in a positive exponent okay if you want if they want you to do that then this will be the way okay let's move on to the next question hopefully everybody understand this um hopefully understand this clearly okay so let's move on to the next one The next question is from the year from May, June, the year 2021, okay? And this is from question 8. This is from question 8. Okay, let's look at that first question. Um, question 8.2.1. So it's 8.2. 2.1 and they want us to derive f with respect to x okay that's the question if if x is equal to let's say if f of x is equal to x q squared excuse me minus 3 plus 9 over x squared okay so that's the question this one is worth uh two more and i'm i'm gonna, I'm gonna lie. i didn't write down how many marks this one is worth but uh here we go okay if you have the answer you can double tap the screen you can give me a thumbs up you can comment the answer but i'm gonna give you a few seconds of a head start here uh we have about one two three four five four <laughs> five four one two three four five six questions after this one so there's still time to invite your friends that's in grade 12 to invite your brother to this live session that's in grade 12 your friend your cousin your nephew your niece uh, your uncle your aunt your grandpa i saw somebody graduated i think yesterday a uh, law degree at the age of 80 so anything is possible anyway let's get back to this question fairly easy um but before, once again, and this is opportunity for those who ask, how did I get to that point? I'm going to use it now again here. Um, we are going to convert this into, because this is a fraction, I want to get rid of that fraction. Okay, so I'm not deriving, I'm just going to rewrite it in simple terms. Um, so it's going to, this is going to be x squared, that still remain there. And this year, I'm not deriving, I'm just rewriting it as a negative exponent. So this x2, if I take it to the top, if I take it to the top, it's going to become x to the power of negative 2. Now it's much more easier to derive that. So it's going to become the de derivative of f with respect to x. The rule say 2 multiplied by positive 1. So it's going to become 2. We keep this as it is. We subtract 1 from that. There's going to be invisible 1. And the derivative of a constant is equal to 0. Okay, so you don't have to write that 0 down. But let's not, let's not waste anything. And then further on, the rules say derive this one as well. 
so this year is going to become um where's that yeah this one multiplied by this is going to be negative 18 and further on the rule say so keep this as it is and then subtract one from that so this is going to become negative three once again if you want to write it as a positive exponent this whole thing this is going to remain the same and this here is going to my numerator is going to be this so it's 18 and my denominator is going to be x to the power of 3 and this is actually your final answer but you will get uh, three marks or two marks I think for this one but if you have any questions with the certain steps here because it's three th steps let me know okay let me see where's this question May June 21 Yeah. <clears throat> okay, let's see. Um, any questions? Let me know. Right. Okay. So let's move on to the next one. Um, it is still from the very same question paper. But it's going to be 8.2.2. Okay. So they ask us to derive g with respect to x. Okay, so we derive that if g of x is equal to this. Uh, square root of x plus 3 multiplied by the square root of x minus 1 okay this one is worth okay I don't have the mark allocation for this one but we should uh, derive this as well okay so I'm going to give you a few seconds it's thought I uh, somebody say please repeat oh my word sorry my slut say I erased that already the second you ask now for the second step Let's see if there's enough time. Um, just remind me. Because I already erased it. Just remind me afterwards um, what question. Okay, okay, if we still have time. But I still have. Let's see how many minutes. Um, 654. I still have. One, two, five questions. I'm not sure if I'll be able to do all of them, but the goal is here to be uh, for the next 25 minutes. Hopefully, we'll be able to finish that. Okay, so once again, see if you can simplify it, okay, to make it more easy for you because you can't just, with your knowledge, you can't just jump straight into deriving this. So I'm first going to simplify this. Uh, basically just getting rid of the brackets so I'm not deriving I'm just simplifying it so this multiplied by this is just going to be x and this multiplied by that is going to be negative square root of x and this multiplied by this is plus 3 square root of x and this multiplied by this is just going to be negative 3 so I'm going to simplify this further before deriving so it's just going to be x and this here is going to be become plus 2 square root of x minus 3 and I'm gonna derive but before I even get to that step I'm gonna get rid of the third symbol which means uh, this is now going to become x plus 2 multiplied by x to the power of a half minus 3 okay so now I'm gonna start deriving okay so I'm gonna derive g with respect to x I'm gonna get the derivative of that is just gonna be 1 okay because that 1 multiplied by that 1 is 1 multiply by the rule for the on say take this one subtract 1 from that so this whole thing is going to become x to the power of 0 so we're saying 1 this one multiplied by x to the power of 0 is just going to be this here then the rules say um, further on take this 
and multiply by this so that's just going to become one we don't have to write down the one and then the rules say keep this as it is so it's x and subtract one from that so it's going to become negative or half and then what do the rules say about the uh, rule one of the rules of differentiation say the derivative of a constant is just equal to zero you don't have to write the zero there this can be your final answer if you are not sure if you are not sure and if you want to you can also convert this into a positive exponent so in other words this is going to remain the same is my positive symbol and if i want to re uh, rewrite that as the positive exponent so it's going to be one over x to the power of a half or you can write one plus one over square root of x I will stop here because they didn't ask me to do that, but it won't be wrong, okay? But this here is your final answer. If you got that, you can just give me a thumbs up or double tap the screen. Um, yeah. So basically, I think maybe this is, previously a question was asked, okay, how did I get, maybe it was this, maybe it's linked to this. Okay, and for those who have just joined us, uh, make sure that you double tap the screen it will help a lot uh, to get it on to the for you page so that more grade 12 students can see this instead of drinking prime <laughs> instead of watching prime people drinking prime I praise is that guys what the hell is going on in South Africa okay um, let's move on to the next question Okay, so this one is from the year of Corona, November 20, and it is question 7. Okay, so question 7.2.1, they ask us to derive, so here's another, I think we've done this type of notation where we just uh, need to derive this so we take the is it the fifth root yes I, I think it's a fifth root yes fifth root of x squared plus x cubed and this one is worth three marks okay and you just give me I'm gonna give you a five to ten second head start uh, if you've just joined us uh, make sure that you take out your pen your book do something in your book um be active it's not like a, i'm not drinking prime i'm doing math so you need to be active it's going to be really helpful okay so once again before you don't have enough knowledge to just jump straight into deriving this the first thing i will do is i will get rid of my Square, not square root, but the fifth root symbol there, okay, so the third symbol, so before, and also don't drop this, I still need to write it down, okay, so this here is going to become x to the power of that, over that, so it's 2 over 5, I'm going to leave that as it is, so it's x cubed, and now I'm going to derive, okay. So what do the rule of differentiation say? Take this and multiply by the invisible one. So it's going to be 2 over 5. Keep this as it is. And then subtract 1 from that. So this is going to become negative 3 over 5. Further on the rule say derive this also. So it's going to be 3 multiplied by positive 1. So it's just going to be positive 3. We keep this as it is subtract one from that so it's two and this is your final answer so this video is not sponsored by anyone except me best thing that you can do is get your copy of my first math guide which is the success math guide for parents and students there's going to be a link in my bio so click on it and get your copy let's get back to the video okay Okay, I will remove this in the next few seconds. So if you have any questions, let me know. 
can just give me a thumbs up. You're also more than welcome to comment your answer, okay? And ask questions. Um, and just give a thumbs up if you okay, if we can move on to the next one. <coughs> it's also from the question paper 2020. It's going to be 7.2.2. .2. Okay, so let's move on to the next one. Okay, thank you for the thumbs up. Uh, Pila, Pila, Ringa. Somebody use it, say please start afresh. I'm going to start with the new one, yes. It's going to be 7.2.2. .2. It's from the question paper, the year 2020, question 7. This is 7.2.2, .2, where they ask us, um, or they gave us, they ask us to derive it, obviously, and they say f of x is equal to 4x squared minus 9 everything over 4x plus 6 and they also give this restriction to say that x should be unequal to negative 3 over 2 so x is not equal to negative 3 over 2 and obviously the question is um, what is derivative of f with respect to x? Okay, thank you for the thumbs up, Queen Lungwane. Let's do this one. Um, so first of all, go and just jump. In your case, you go and just jump straight into deriving it. So the first thing that I will do is, can I simplify this to make things a little bit more easy for myself? Yes. I see I can factorize this and I can also factorize the bottom one. Okay. So, and then maybe stuff can cancel and then maybe I can factorize. So let's first do all of those stuff. So on top, I'm not deriving. I'm just simplifying. So it's, I'm going to get f of x is equal to, that's the difference between two squares. So we know it's going to be two brackets, everything over, before I write that down at the bottom, let me first uh, factorize that on top. So one bracket is going to be plus, one bracket is going to be negative. So it's going to be 2x and also 2x, and then it's going to be 3 and 3. Okay, so now I have this. And here I'm going to take out common factor that I need to take out is 2. So let's take out 2 as a common factor. I'm going to be left with 2x plus 3. So now I can see, okay, this and this can cancel. So the only thing that I'm left with is 2x minus 3 over 2. Okay, so if x is equal to this. So what I'm also going to do is, remember, I can't just jump into uh, deriving this, okay? So what I'm going to do, I'm going to simplify this not simplified i'm going to break it up and start cancelling because i can already see that i'm going to get stuck be just jumping into deriving this okay so i can i'm going to rewrite this as let me start here so it's going to become 2x over 2 minus 3 over 2 now i can see okay this and this cancels so i'm going to be left with x is minus 3 over 2 and this here is much more easier to differentiate okay so now i can say so that means derivative of f with respect to x is equal to if i derive this it's just going to become 1 and the derivative of a constant is equal to 0 so this here is my final answer if you have any steps uh, questions in tell me in which step okay so this is the first, second, third, and fourth steps. Out of that four steps, if there's anything that you maybe that's maybe not clear, let me know. Or you can just give me a thumbs up or double tap the screen so that we can move on to the next question. I can't see the answer. Here's the answer. Answer is equal to we can't see. Moses is saying we can't see. Moses, here's the answer. 
hopefully you can see now mm, I can't see Camogelo also says she can't see still can't see no ways guys I'm not sure what do you mean you can't see here's the answer first one is the answer yes here's the answer <laughs> You must stop drinking prime Moses. Leave the prime alone. <laughs> the answer is cut out. No, it's not. I can see it on my screen. Somebody did say Chase say the answer is one. Yeah, J. Evolution. Okay, so if there's any steps here that you don't understand, uh, let me know. Lungili asks why one. Okay, so we got to this step. Um, derivative of x to the power of one is one. So here's that one. Derivative of a constant is equal to zero. So you don't have to write the zero. You don't have to write one plus zero because one plus zero is one. So that's why the answer is one. Okay, hopefully that clears up some of your questions. Okay, so let's move on to. We have three more questions. Look, what's happening? Oh, I see. Guys, I still... Um, hopefully my... Let me just see if I can do this. Uh, just give me a few seconds. Okay, so let's move on to November. Let me see what's the steps to differentiate again. Last time I did calculus when I was in grade 10. Okay, so the steps to differentiate, you, you can, I to explain it as I'm doing the examples or the exam type of questions, but even if it's not that, if it's not clear, clear, um, I posted all the steps in on my uh, TikTok, okay. So this is from 2019 November. This is the last question that we're going to do. Okay. So if you have any other questions, now will be the time to ask it because we never, we never going to look at it again. Okay. At differentiation, the rules of differentiation. I will say again. Okay. So we, they want, they ask us to. What is dy dx if y is equal to 4x to the power of 8 plus square root of x? Okay. This is the last question of differentiation. That I'll ever base on that this is a specific question where they just want you to use the rule. Okay, and it's you get from two up to five, four, five marks for this question. Not this question, but for that specific question. Uh, okay, so. If you have your answer, then you're more than welcome to comment it. Um, so once again, we can't just jump straight into factorizing this. Okay, let's 
first simplify this okay so this is going to become y is equal to 4 x to the power of 8 what do I mean by simplifying I mean get rid of the third um, symbol here so this is going to become x to the power of a half by the way this is from question paper yeah this is still 7.2 I wrote today by the way um, no, no. this is question 7 okay, right. let's make it clear okay. this is question 7 but it's this is 7.2 ok so now it's much more easier to derive this so dy dx is going to become 8 multiplied by 4 it's just going to be 32 we keep this as it is that's what the general rule of differentiation say we multiply this and that we get that we keep this as it is and we subtract one from this so it's going to become seven here okay further on the rule also say okay let's apply the differentiation the general rule of differentiation also here so it's going to be a half multiply by positive one which is just going to be positive one over two we keep the x as it is and we subtract 1 from that so that's going to become negative 1 over 2 you can leave it here this will be your final answer you will get your two marks you will get your two marks but if you want to rewrite this as a positive exponent then all you have to do is obviously leave this as it is so it's 32 x to the power of 7 uh, there's my plus my numerator is going to be 1 my denominator is still 2 this is going to be at the bottom as x to the power of half which is also the square root of x if i were you and they didn't ask me to rewrite my negative exponent to a positive one i will leave it there because this is a waste of ink as you can see it's getting i'm getting it um this marcus i need a sponsor for marcus okay if there's any steps this is the last, third last question. And then we're going to move on to 7.3.1 and 7.3.2. So if you have any questions here, please let me know. I'm reading the comments. If there's one, just double tap the screen. Or you can just give me a thumbs up if, we, if you are ready to move on to the next one. Somebody say, your work. Yes, work. The band. And then Moses say, thanks, I remember now. Okay, cool. Somebody say, where do you get the question from? This is from November 2019. Question 7. Question 7.2. It's on the <coughs> South African basic education. By the way, this is from the CAP system. So it's from the basic education, Department of Basic Education. Okay, so let's move on to the next one. We're still busy with question 7, 7 uh, 2019. And we're now going to look at our final one. Um, so it's going to be question 7.3. Okay, they say y is equal to ax. A x squared plus a okay so that is just 7.3 so the question 7.3.1 they ask us what is dy dx okay that's that first one they want to know what is dy dx so we de deriving this function y with respect to x okay so if you have the answer you just drop the answer in the comment section i do read it um you can just give me a thumbs up if you've got it but you're a little bit shy to answer the question or you can just double tap the screen before i go jump into the answer Okay, this one is fairly easy. Uh, let's see, somebody say it is 2ax plus 1. Okay, 
um, non place H two A plus one, and then T D Marlow. Sorry if I mispronounce your name. It's two A X plus one. Somebody say non place H two A X plus one, and then corner say H two A X. Freddy say H two A X. Queen say H two A X plus one. Filare Pinge say H two A X. Siren say H two A X. See a lot of two AX and a lot of two AX plus one. <laughs> okay. Um, so let's look at this one. So remember, there's two unknown variables here. There's an A and there's an X. Okay. But they are asking us to derive this function Y with respect to X. So everything else is a constant. Okay. Every all the other stuff is constant. So only we're only looking at the X. What's happening with the X there? So in this case. <coughs> yeah, is a two, okay, and we're multiplying it by that constant. So in this case, the constant is a. Yeah, okay. So it's two multiplied by a. So it's two. Let me just do this. Okay. So that was the question. So if we derive it with respect to dy dx. So as I said, we're deriving with respect to x, so everything else is a constant. So what do the law of differentiation, not the law, but the rule of differentiation say? 2 multiplied by a, which is 2a, and we keep the x there as it is, and then we subtract 1 from that, so there's an invisible 1, but you don't have to write it down. And as you know, this is a constant here. So what is the derivative of a constant? It is equal to 0. So this here is your final answer. Okay, so for those who got the 2ax, congratulations. Um, let's see. Well, so congratulations to, the, to those who didn't get it right. Hopefully you understand now why you got it wrong. Um, and then <laughs> Nkobos said 2ax plus 1. And I'm not sure if you so that you're actually going to get lost, you actually wrong, and then you said, uh, I mean, two eggs. Aye, 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 aye. You drank too much prang, says so sister. It's the prang. <laughs> okay, so let's look at the final one. Um, 7.3.1. So it's 7.3.1. And here they want us to derive this function dy with respect to a. So first, we derive it with respect to x. So everything else was a constant. Now, the same thing here, we should derive with respect to a. And everything else is a constant. Okay? So this is the next question. So don't get confused, it's not the same thing. It's not the same thing. Okay? So we should derive dy. dx, dA, excuse me. Okay, so let me give you... So now in Cobos, this is your opportunity to make up for the one you got wrong, okay? Always the prime, not gonna lie, it's always the prime, okay? So if you got your answer, this is the final one, so get it right. Um, if you got it wrong, if you got this one wrong. So let, I, I'm not gonna expose who ever got it wrong, that's the other question. And don't leave don't leave now, we're going to wait for your answer. Um, so, Freddy Boy is G. Freddy Boy is saying, is the answer one? No, you can't ask me, you must, you must say the answer is dead. Go to say, hey, Okay, feel a ring say 1x squared plus 1, okay? And then T, T, D, Malo say it's 2a, okay? Guys, we must wait for. I want to put stress on the people who got the answer wrong. Um, so non click, you owe me. And in Tide Malo, you owe me. Non click, yes, you owe me. Um, Queen, you owe me. No boss, yes, you owe me. The correct answer. Okay. Tidim, I'll say, corner say, x squared. 
Pilari se ai. Na onse is wrong. <laughs> it's the prime. It's the prime when. <laughs> the prime you had too much prime. Ah, uh, okay. Moses, okay. Users say from tell Moses the answer is two A. Okay, now Tsepo is saying it's two zero. Hi, yeah, 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 yeah. You can't play kissing games here. You see, if you say two in the exams, if you say two or two A, the person who mark is going to look at the two and that's going to be your answer. It's not going to be the or zero part. Okay, I still have three minutes left before I leave. So let's see if there's more answers. The others are waiting. You can wait, Baba. <laughs> you wait like you wait in the queue for that prime yesterday on Monday, seven o'clock in the queue. <laughs> in front of checkers. Okay, so Queen is saying x squared plus one. Okay, let's see else. Who else have answers for us? Okay, the answer that I'm going to give you is going to be in the next 30 seconds. Um, when I say I'm stuck on x squared. Okay. Right, so let me just look at that first one. Okay, so like I said, for this one, we're deriving this, okay, with respect to x. So everything else was a constant. So we just look at the x, what is it, what is, it was the x, okay, and then we said, okay, so the a and the a was the constants, so it's almost like 2 and 2, okay, so that's how we got to that point, but now, here, we're looking at the a and everything else is a constant, so which means, we look at the a, so this x squared is a constant, like it's your constant, and we only need to look at the a, okay, so we, you can't say 2, multiplied by this okay because we are not deriving in terms of x we are deriving in terms of a so this here is just going to become x squared <coughs> and by the way if it makes you feel a little bit more comfortable you can also rewrite this i'm not sure if you know so i'm going to write it in the red so that you can see this here is the same as x squared a plus a if it makes you more comfortable and you don't understand so maybe now you can see okay um, we are deriving in terms of a so we're only going to look at the a and everything else is constant so here is my constant so here's the invisible one we multiply that one with the constant which is just going to be x squared and what did the rule further on say a to the power of 1 minus 1. So this here is going to become a to the power of 0. According to my laws of exponents, a to the power of 0 is equal to 1. So x squared multiplied by 1 is x squared. Okay? Then you derive also this, because this is not a constant. Remember, we are deriving with respect to x. So this here, there's an invisible 1. We multiply it by this plus 1. So it's going to be plus 1. And 1 minus 1, a to the power of 1 minus 1 is a to the power of 0. What do you know about a to the power of 0? It's equal to 1. So it's going to be this one multiplied by the a to the power of 0 is this. And this here is your final answer.